This video I will show how to convert Raspberry OS to a VMDK image to use with ESXi. There are other guides out there for the initial install of ESXi hypervisor. First, go to the Raspberry Pi page and download the 64-bit version of Raspberry Pi OS. Copy the downloaded image which will be compressed to a Linux computer. I'm running a Linux virtual machine to do this. Open Terminal on Linux and extract the image using the command xz-d as shown. Now update the packages using apt update. Next, we need to convert the image format to VMDK. First install QEMU-Utils. Now type the QEMU-IMG command to convert the image to VMDK. Once done, we now copy the VMDK file produced to eSexy. I first need to copy back to my main computer. On the main ESXi page, a tip if you are using an SSD drive as a data store. Click Storage on the left menu and you will see drive type normally says None SSD. Click Manage on the left menu, select System and Advanced Settings. In the search type SSD, edit the value of disk dot, allow USB claimed as SSD and set this to 1. Also, if you ever need to use USB ports for ESXi, for example, an additional data store, Search for USB and change USB.arbitrator auto start disabled to 1. Otherwise, by default, USB can be passed through to the virtual machines. So leave this option if you wish to use it this way. Now restart ESXi. Click storage on the left side. And you should now see drive type states SSD. We now need to enable SSH access. Click host on the left side and click actions. Services. Enable secure shell. Click storage on the left side menu. Click Data Store Browser. Click your data store. Click Upload and upload the Raspberry OS VMDK file. Once uploaded, access Windows command prompt. Type SSH space root, at, and then your ESXi host IP. Type CD, space forward slash VMFS, forward slash volumes, forward slash, your data store, example data store 1. Type the following VMFS tools command to clone the VMDK to a compatible type. Now type VMFS tools command to expand the disk to a custom size. In my example, 20 gig. Now we need to download the Debian Net inst ISO to further configure the VMDK image. Ensure this is the ARM64 version of Debian. Once downloaded, go back to the Data Store browser and upload the Debian Net inst ISO. Once uploaded, go to Virtual Machines on the left side menu. Click Create. Register VM. Click Create Virtual Machine. Type a name, select Linux and Debian. Set your options example CPU number and memory. Delete the hard drive that is listed by default. Click Add Hard Disk. Select the VMDK we created, example my Raspi OS. Scroll to CD, DVD. Select Data Store ISO file, then select Debian. Start the virtual machine. This should boot to Debian DVD. Select Advanced Options. Select Rescue Mode. Enter through the options until selecting the root file system. Select SDA2. Select Execute Shell. Click Continue. Now follow the on-screen commands listed at the top and in the video's description. After the Raspi config command, select guest OS to restart the virtual machine. This restart is required. Exactly like before, follow through the rescue mode prompts to get back to the shell. Don't forget select SDA2 here. Add the following at the end of the fstab file.
Sometimes an apt command may fail on download. Just try it again. This DPKG command lists already installed kernels named RPI. We will remove these ones as we installed Linux Image Arm 64. Once all commands have been entered, we should now have the compatible kernel with Grub support. One final change is needed if using Raspberry Desktop. At the time of this video, the Wayland Desktop environment is not supported. To ensure the machine boots, you will need to switch to X11. Type raspy-config. Select Advanced Settings. Select Wayland. Change to X11 and Reboot. Click Actions. Click Guest OS and restart. Click Debian to now boot into the Raspberry OS, then run through the initial setup questions. All complete. Thanks for watching.